Hello, welcome back to Suburban Hunt 365. I am DJ and we are actually at the lease today. Uh, this video was actually prompted by uh, subscriber Cody Taylor. I uh, apologize if I mispronounced that, but Cody Taylor uh, 2194 who was talking about the fact that he uses the 250 TEZs uh, with the 777 primers and the 777 pellets. Uh, and I'll put that comment up here. But he also went on to say that he uses 100 grains. So I got to thinking about that. Well, okay, well, we've done the pellet test for all these other projectiles. Let's go ahead and run the pellet test for the 250 grain TEZs. So I am going to run them for the 290s, but where I usually get my stuff, which is Mid-South Reloading Supply, check them out. Um, they didn't have them in stock, but they did have the 250s in stock, which worked out perfect because that's what uh, Cody said he was using. So, um, first up, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the triple sevens with the 250s uh, and see how my gun likes it. Maybe it's a nail driver for him. We'll see how mine likes it. So, let's get into it real quick and let's go ahead and start off with the triple uh, seven. 50 50 pellets, 250 grain bar, split TEZs at 100 yards. Let's see what happens. All right, not too bad. Not too bad of a way to start this off. That is a two and three quarter inch group, kind of what I've been used to seeing with the triple sevens out of my particular muzzleloader. Uh, that is the 100 grains. I failed to mention that a second ago, but that was the 100 grain load, the same that uh, Cody said he used. Um, not what I would consider a narrow driver for me, but every gun shoots different. So again, take the information that you can get from these videos and start applying that to your own rifle. And just like with Cody's, you may have a nail driver with that combo. Mine just isn't. And that's okay. Every gun's slightly different. So let's go ahead and let's move into triple sevens. Uh, pellets, 150 grains. <laughs> well, that picked up a little bit, didn't it? That jumped from the bottom all the way to the top of that paper there. Holy cow, I thought it almost hit the top tar above the target, but, uh, but it did end up being right there at it. So this group, it kind of spread apart. Uh, this one came in at three inches. So T and three quarters to three inches, that is the triple sevens. So, not too shabby, not too shabby. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get into the other pellets and let's see how they do. Uh, next up is going to be, oh, uh, let's give the White Hots a try next. All right, so White Hots, 100 grain. All right, nice little round group there, you know, kind of towards the bottom again. Now with these lighter projectiles, because that gun is sided in for the 245s, um, it's a little bit lower. So when I, at this point with 250s, I went ahead and put the crosshairs on the bullseye, which kind of shocked me about the last ones, how they jumped up so high. But um, but regardless, that was a pretty pretty symmetrical group, just, just a little bit low. Uh, could definitely bring that up and bring that into a shootable. Uh, this That one came in at uh, two and a quarter. That's what that was. So that is the tightest group so far. Um, White Hots did win overall uh, as far as accuracy goes. So... No surprise there. So, but that's the 100. So let's go ahead and let's kick it up to the 150 grain. Three pellets of White Hots, 250 grain Barnes TEZs. Let's see what it does. Well, if I'm gonna use White Hots, I'm using two pellets. That is quite a bit wide, quite a bit wider. Uh, what was that? That was, is that right? Ugh. Five and three eighths is what that ended up being because those two are so far away from each other. Uh, yeah, not awesome. Not awesome for the 150 grains. So we'll have to go with that. So right now with the white hots, I would be definitely be using two pellets if I was going to be swinging white hots. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and let's move on. Let's stay with the new ones. Let's go ahead and let's run the triple seven fire stars. This is going to be three pellets. Now again, these are normally they say 33 grains, so this is as close to a 100 grain load as we can do. So three pellets, fire stars, triple sevens, see how they do. All 
All right, not too bad. That came in at two and a half inches. So, not too terrible there. Uh, you know, it's, I think the four star, uh, four, it's four stars, the four pellets of the uh, Firestar, I think was the worst overall on the average. So, I'm not expecting a whole lot out of this next group, but the uh, three pellets, two and, a, two and a half inches, let's see what four pellets do. There's another high group, but that one came in at three and a half inches. So, an inch difference between the three and the four. Um, could you use it? Sure. Would you want to? No, not really. Uh, it's definitely a lot better, smaller uh, groups that have come out of this rifle. So, no fireworks there. No kills, no thrills. And moving on, let's go ahead and, you know what? I haven't done the power decks, but y'all, if y'all been watching the series, y'all know that I'm not a huge, huge fan of these guys. Uh, but let's go ahead and run it. Uh, power decks, 50-50s, 50, 50 grain pellets. We're gonna run 100 grain load. Again, we're still using the 250 grain Barnes TEZs. See how they do. I'm actually kind of surprised. Two and three eighths is the group on that one. Uh, for 100 grains of uh, power decks, that's actually one of the better groups if, my, if I recall. So, not too shabby. I may be eating some crow on this one with that particular uh, powder substitute. But, alright, let's go ahead and let's move on and let's see if three pellets can do any better. 150 grains, power decks. Where in the heck did that come from? That is a three-quarter inch group. I, I apologize to all the Pyrodex users out there. I had pretty much written that one off. I've not gotten a whole lot of good uh, groups with that particular pellet. And to me, it was just a write-off. I was just going to use up what I had. But after seeing that, that group actually ties with the best group overall in all the tests that we've done. That tied with the triple seven three pellets, the 150 grains of triple seven with the 330 ELRs. This ties that with three quarters of an inch. So now I've got two seven melee groups, one with the triple sevens using 330 grain ELRs, and now using 150 grains of Pyrodex with the 250 born TEZs. So that's, I definitely, uh, definitely like having that option there. That's pretty awesome. So um, now, as far as the list goes, I'm actually going to go ahead and put that on your screen now. Uh, this ranks fifth out of all the different, this is on average. And if you look on there, that five and three eighths is absolutely murdering this average. Uh, because of that spread right there even with the three-quarter inch on the one we just shot it is killing us uh, but it got out of the seven projectiles that we've gone ran so far this is fifth as far as average goes so uh, we are going to be getting back online to mid-south shooter supply and getting a hold of the 290 grain tezs uh, or i may actually have to go look somewhere else to find them um, the last video that I did, one of the guys actually came up to me here at the lease and needed to get a hold of the 250s because he likes to use the 250s. Uh, he just got himself a new, uh, I believe he said it was an Acura that he got. Um, so that's that's awesome. I don't know why CVA keeps naming these so close to cars, right? The Optima, Ultima, the Acura, the Acura, what the heck? Come on. Anyway, guys, I digress. Uh, if you guys have stuck out with us this far, I definitely appreciate you guys. Uh, I definitely appreciate Cody Taylor, uh, 2194, for kind of prompting this video. And if you guys haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, let, you, let YouTube know that you guys enjoy this kind of content. And then comment down below and let me know what you think. Because the last few videos that we've done have been directly results of your comments and letting us know what you use, what you like, what you want to use, and are thinking about using. That kind of stuff, guys. I Like I said, I, I love doing this kind of thing. It lets me know. I now know that I have two different sets of combos that I can use 
and have sub MOA results. So, again, from Suburban Hunt 365, I'm DJ. We'll catch you on the next one.